the most famous producer of salsa of all time, in my opinion, is Francois Cotta, which is spelled C-O-T-A-T. Um, I've known about these wines for all of my wine trade life, so nearly three decades now. And every single time I open a bottle, I'm completely amazed. Um, not least because Sancerre is arguably the most famous incarnation of the Sauvignon Blanc grape variety in the world. Um, Sancerre is based in the central vineyards area of the Loire Valley um, and with neighboring Puy Fumé over the Loire River, they do make a lot of very, very lovely, really crisp, very friendly Sauvignons. Um, I, I know that the New World is slightly taken over with some of their more aromatic and slightly more fruit cocktail style wines, but the stronghold really is in Sancerre. And not just in Sancerre, it's in Cotta's home village of Chavignol. You may have heard of the word Chavignol before because that's where those little goat's cheese come from, the Cotta Chavignol. Um, and, and I think that's a perfect food and wine matching to have goat's cheese with Sancerre. Anyway, Cotta has two particularly serious vineyards, very steep vineyards. Um, you'd almost need a, a sort of rope to kind of haul yourself up and down them to pick the grapes. But um, they're called Coule de Beauge and Grande Côte. And unlike many Sancerre producers, Cotta's wines age, and they age extremely well. Um, I remember hosting a lunch party uh, a number of years ago and opening a magnum of 1989 Sancerre. Now, uh, when would you ever open a wine of that age made from the Sauvignon Blanc grape variety? It was a bit of a gamble. The wine looked good in the bottle, the level was good, and as I poured it, I could see the colour was still very pale and with green tinges, not remotely sort of honeyed or, or, or over the top. Um, on the nose, the wine was spectacular, still had very crisp Sauvignon Blanc notes. The palate was immensely long and impressive. It didn't look a day over five years old when in fact it was 25 years old. So the trick here is to have fantastic vineyards, very, very holistic winemaking, and just be one of the heroes of which Cotta is. Um, I urge you to find these wines. Not all, not all of them are very expensive. Some of them are sort of affordable and, um, and a real treat. There's not an awful lot of stock around once again. So if you do want to find these wines, I'd urge you, I urge you to contact me. But, um, but yeah, Francois Cotta, the legend of Sancerre. <laughs>